Okay, today we're going to take a look at this Kallenberger Universal IDOD uh, cylindrical grinding machine. This is a model 600U uh, by 125. That's 125 millimeter center height, which is approximately 5 inches. So you've got a 10 inch swing on this. Uh, between centers you've got 600 millimeters, depending on how you have everything positioned, about 23 to 24 inches. Uh, this has a 16 inch diameter grinding wheel and a 10 inch or 8 inch diameter grinding wheel, I'm not sure which on the side here for face grinding when you swivel this around. Uh, this being a universal machine, uh, our headstock can rotate uh, to 60 degrees or 90 degrees. Uh, we have a swiveling head that goes completely around, uh, bringing from the back uh, internal grinding spindle to do internal grinding. Uh, the machine controls are here, electrical cabinet here, this is wired uh, 200, excuse me, 440 volts, 460 volts. Um, your controls for the machine are all up here, You're selecting different modes, table reversal, uh, rapid in and rapid out, table speed, got a couple of dwells, uh, your reversal dogs with char adjustable, your main starting lever to start the cycle, um, a jog button here, this uh, is controlling the speed of the workhead. This is an emergency stop. This here is a, a fixed stop setup. If you're grinding to a shoulder or you want to lock down the table, uh, you could work with these two to, to get very precise. Here we have a quick clamping collet attachment for a 5C collet. Also, uh, I have in here, this is a Morse taper number five headstock, so we could take any kind of tooling that's a Morse taper number five, such as a chuck, which comes with the machine. Uh, this is just a center that I have sitting in here. This is a Morse tape, a number five center with probably a two or a three in it. This is just a reduction sleeve with another center. Uh, of course, when we want to use the quick collet attachment, we have to put in the thing that would hold your 5C collet. And then you have your, your drawer bar back here to lock it all in. I'm just going to put my center back in. All right, and here you have the tailstock. On this machine, this tailstock is actually hydraulic. It'll open and close as long as the machine is not in an automatic cycle. This comes in handy when you're leaning over your workpiece, if you've got a heavy workpiece, to be able to take it off like that. Okay, so here's your in-feed hand wheel, your longitudinal hand wheel. Uh, you've also got two different ratios. When you rotate these hand wheels, you've got a fine, and you have a coarse for rapid adjustment. Also the same with the longitudinal table. Uh, this unit mounted here on the center of the table is a Marpos uh, in-process gauge along with the amplifier. This is all uh, connected and, and wired into the machine, interfaced into the machine when you want to use it. You don't have to use it. You can take it off and put it on a shelf, but if you select it, uh, this will grind a workpiece or several workpieces uh, to uh, exact size uh, going by this uh, in-process gauge here. Uh, so if you have a, a, a lot of 100 parts or all, all similar parts, the same diameter, it pays to set something like this up on the machine. Uh, once you start the cycle, it will automatically uh, grind the part until it's the same size as the master part. It doesn't care if the wheel broke down a little bit or if it needed to be dressed. It's going to grind the part until it's the right size. Basically, it's used for production. All right, I'm going to start up the grinding wheel. Uh, at the same time this wheel starts, we're starting an ID spindle in the rear. You can disconnect that if you're not doing a lot of ID grinding. Uh, so we can bring in the cycle here. You see when I go in and out that the gauge head goes in and out with the, with the slide. And then you see our hand wheel, our in-feed hand wheel, and our table starting to jerk around. I didn't want that on. This goes to the fine feed. It has an automatic spark out. That's done by a timer. It's not going by this in-process gauge now. This is feeding down. This is taking material off. Comes to a fine feed. 
just before zero, right here. And depending on what you have the time set for, it kicks out. Stopping and starting the workhead. You can also do traverse grinding. Just got to get the air out of it. You see, each time we reverse here, we feed. All right, we're going to stop. Okay, so while you were away, we uh, reorganized the machine a little bit. Uh, I spun the, sp the spindle around, and now I've got my internal grinder set up here. Uh, this is a Fortuna spindle. I put the chuck on here to simulate uh, that we we're going to do some kind of ID grinding. Uh, one of the things that changes when you're doing the internal grinding, you see in here you have your, your spindle with your belt on it, <clears throat> flat rubber belt, is that in the internal grinding mode, you no longer want this slide to go back rapidly. So uh, you have to put it in the internal mode. There's a mode selector switch here as a safety so that you will take the amount of stock off the material, the hand wheel will feed down and retract back to the starting position, but the slide is fixed here. So go ahead and show you that. So I have this set right now so that we increment when we come out of the bore. I could set it so that it increments on both sides, inside the bore and out of the bore. or just inside. So you can select left, right, or both. It can also be put in manual. And if you wanted to feed that down by hand, now you can just turn that in by hand. Uh, this is a little collet holder that screws into the nose of this spindle. Now there's dedicated quills that you can buy, but this has a collet. This one's a quarter inch. There's a sixteenth and a, th and a uh, looks like a maybe a three-eighths or, or five-sixteenths. So there's, a, there's three collets coming with this. And these will accept a, uh, a, a stone wheel mounted on a little shank. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's the important thing here. Now when I reverse this, my infeed will go back, but my head will not. All right, well, I had it in the hand mode. Uh, that's why it didn't go back. So now we're feeding. And when I retract it, it'll go back. But this stays where it is. Uh, so that's it. That's the Kellenberger 600U. This is a very nice machine, very nice condition, uh, very quiet. I'll start this ID spindle for you. They are kind of noisy. It's very high RPM. I'm not sure on the, uh, the RPM of that spindle, but it's, it's probably uh, between 16 and, and 20,000 RPM, although I'm not sure. All right, thank you very much. All right, one more thing we wanted to just show you, to add to you, is uh, you know, the, the ease of swiveling this head. Uh, it has indents that if I had let go of this lever up here, it's a spring-loaded pin, it would drop down and lock in, in three different positions. Uh, over here, this way, you have a face grinding. You have to adjust this wheel guard, but you can mount another wheel here uh, in order to do face grinding. And any other angle that you might want to have. Uh, so that's the way it would be for doing, using the right-handed wheel uh, to do a face grind. Again, this just rotates back around. until it drops into the, the pin.
and then you lock it in place. And that's it. Thank you.